Hello everyone, it is November the 11th, it is an 11-11, a lot of people that are going to be thinking that if they simply wish and have positive energy at a certain time of the day on this day, that their whole lives will just change. Well, for starters, it's their calendar. I, I doubt today is really 11 11. Uh, secondly, why don't you try to do that every other day? <laughs> you don't have to pick this day specifically. Um, not to mention that it is those people that are that are fighting against you that enjoy their enjoy their numerology so they enjoy you uh, thinking positive thoughts at a certain time of the day today I never went in I never went in for it I it's it's never been one thing for me I I believe that you pray every day you try to think as positive as possible every day because something comes out of it that you don't need special days of the year to think positive thoughts to put all of your energy into doing something yeah except for maybe the feasts of, of God anyways that was my that was my two cents on the whole 1111 thing. I never went in for it. Today, I'd like to read Psalm 48. This is a psalm and or a song and psalm for the sons of Korah. Um, I'm going to try to read this a little bit different, a little bit laid back, a little bit more relaxed. Seems like the first time I read these, I try to read them with a little bit more. Uh, Uh, what's the word? Authority? <laughs> Emphasis? But it seems like the second time I go through it, I'm a little bit more relaxed. So we're going to try to see if I see if it's any better. If I just read it. You know, instead of trying to uh, emphasize it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Alright, Psalm 48. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for situation, joy of the whole earth, is the, mountain, is the Mount Zion. On the sides of the north, the city of the great king. God is known in her palaces for a refuge. For lo, the kings were assembled. They passed by together. They saw it, and they marveled. They were troubled and hasted away. Fear took hold upon them there, and pain as of a woman in travail. Thou breakest the ships of Tarshish with an east wind. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God. God will establish it forever. Selah. We have thought of thy loving kindness, O God, in the midst of thy temple. According to thy name, O God, so is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. Thy right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of thy judgments. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Tell the towers thereof. Mark ye well her building, her, sorry. Mark ye well her bul bulwarks Consider her palaces, that ye may tell it to the generation following. For this God is our God for ever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. That one was a weird one. Mark ye well her bulwarks. Consider her palaces, that ye may tell it to the generation following. Because half of those, because bulwarks and generation are cut in half. 
they're hyphenated, so it's sometimes it's weird to see them. My my eyesight is getting terrible too. I'm I'm actually starting to have problems reading. It's sad. I mean, we all fall apart. It is what it is. I was listening to a. Uh, I don't know what it was. Either listening to it or reading it. Might have been something I read. It was uh, somebody mentioning. That's what it was. So, so the Bible tends to talk about the bride. It tends to talk about Zion. It tends to talk about the people. God's people. Uh, refer to them as a female. As the bride. And they were saying that in Revelations uh, there will be a place set in the wilderness for the bride. And she will go there and they will feed her for it was 1,260 days. I think that's what it was. I think it comes out to is it, was it the three and a half years? I think it's what it was. Could be wrong. It could be way wrong on there. But um, oh, one second here. Let me. Or one thousand two hundred and sixty days. I think it's what it was. But here, yet again, they're referring to Zion as a female, as a woman, as the bride. The bride that the bride that God has to remarry so that she can be holy again. One of the one of the things that one of the things that I had understood, I can't remember who said it, but there was a legalistic portion of why Christ had to die. Because in the law, it says that when a woman is married, When what was it exactly? The only way that she can remarry is if the husband dies and she is she is taken and set apart and she is made clean again so that she may remarry. Or, the, or when she's been unfaithful. I think that's what it was. I don't remember exactly how it was. But that the husband has to die in order for her to be clean, in order to be remarried. And from a legalistic standpoint, Christ was born, perfect lamb, in which God took him and used him to become the husband to die out of the marriage, the original marriage, the original covenant, so that the bride could come back to him clean so that he could remarry her. So that legalistically things would work out and that's not perfect I've said that better somewhere I know I have Some, somewhere along the line I've said that a lot better than than that it's been a while since I've since I've been I've been on that side of the Bible um, but yeah you have you have this you have references right here of 
of Zion, of the bride, God is known in her palaces for a refuge. And then down here later on, it's... Uh, Fear took hold upon them there as in pain, as of a woman in travail, of course. Um, which again is a reference. The the bride will be in pain as a woman in travail, which is a tribulation. There will be pains that will be coming, and that goes for. I guess for the world as well, is that there will be troubles and pains and misery and, and the the earth will also be as, as if a woman in travail. That the pains will become quicker and quicker. And things will start falling apart faster and faster. Walk about Zion and go around about her. Tell the towers thereof. Mark you well her bulwarks. Consider her palaces. He may tell it to the generation following. Mark you well her bulwarks. Her palaces. Every time anybody measures anything in this book, all I can think about is the little time travel situation that we have and it's not really time travel it's um almost giving was in it was it in jeremiah or ezekiel i think jeremiah that uh he was told to walk around the city and he saw somebody there that was measuring the city and he didn't really know who it was he just was watching this, whoever it was, measuring measuring out the city, measuring out you know, Jerusalem and the tabernacle, all that. And if you go to Revelations, where I think John is told, go measure the city. And there was another place, too, where somebody was... Somebody had come into the city and was told to measure it. I can't remember what that was. I'm looking. Sorry, I'm I'm trying to dig through these. Again, this is because I have gotten so far off of of uh, doing my studies on this stuff that it's it's been a while. I'm just saying it's it's been a while. I don't remember where it was. There was a tie-in there. It was a big tie-in, too. It was just kind of like, you know, look, there's from one side to the other. It actually works. And it's extremely interesting whenever those things happen. In here, I just don't. It's like I said, it's been a while. It's been a while, and today is just not my day to have that word in my mouth. So, maybe it's just not something that I can I can do right now. So, on that. 
I will leave that off because I do not want to start. I definitely do not want to start preaching something that I have no idea about. Because that only leads to confusion on everybody's parts, and I really don't want to do that to anybody. Uh, other than that, I don't really have much of anything. Um, it is, what is this, is it a Thursday? It is the fourth day of waking up at four o'clock in the morning so I can go to work. Um, I feel, I feel terrible. <laughs> uh, my stomach. So I'm, I'm waking up early and sadly, because I'm waking up early, I'm eating too much stay awake and my stomach is kicking me right in the butt and I do not feel good at all that's my own fault I mean you know I should have I should have understood that this would happen so if uh, anybody wants to if anybody wants to pray for healing I will take it if it because I just don't feel good at all. It hurts. It's my own fault, like I said. And I should have known better. But still, I I did it to myself. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop. So that I can get things rolling here. Um... I am definitely too tired to do this. I can tell just by uh just by reason of not having the right words and just feeling like crap. So today is today is just one of those days. Thank you guys for coming around though. Um I had I, I had stuff I could talk about. Um especially when it comes to YouTube's new policies because they are getting rid of their dislike button because too many people are, are getting ratioed. But whatever, whatever. That's, that's just them trying to trying to save their corporate their corporate uh money handlers yeah because they were finding out that there are a lot of people out there that don't like the way things are going so what they're doing is they're stifling all those voices of all the people that don't like the new agendas that are going around that's all that is anyways thanks for coming around and listening guys um i will talk to you later and uh God bless. Take care. That's all I got. See ya.